Warning, the following show may contain strong language. It didn't when we recorded it, but I thought it needed a bit more punch, so edited some in myself. Right, so, uh, in the morning, um, you guys wake up, um, Jax has got a bit of a headache, you're not exactly sure what happened. (laughs) (laughs) What happened last night? That's for sure. (laughs) Oh, how much did we drink? (laughs) Well, you didn't even drink one. Why does my head hurt? Like, I've got the worst hangover of a lifetime then. Because you banged your head on the floor. Okay. (laughs) Don't ask If it's your dune again. Huh? Looks at yeah. No, you did it entirely by yourself. Yeah, it's likely story. Now, now, ladies. I was actually gonna perform first aid on you, but I would Virgil... rather die. <laughs> actually, I <laughs> die if you perform first aid on me. So let's not go down that route. <laughs> right. Cared about you. So it's morning. What do you guys want to do? Go to the girl. Yeah, so the, yeah, I guess yeah. You're the head girl. Yeah, so the girl will be still over at Drevin's shop, so I assume that's where you're heading. Brain Darwin, drop. Darwin's shop, sorry. Uh, so you head over to Darwin's shop, and this morning, um, uh, Seria is sporting an odd new faceplate. It's got two red and gold uh, strips across her left cheek, basically. What's up with that? Um, but she seems me. like she seems like an entirely different person now. She's like she's there with her brother, chatting and laughing away and joking, and she's in like really good mood, basically. Is the healer here? Oh uh, yeah, she's uh, she sat there. Yeah, yeah. So it worked. What have you did then? Did you brainwash her? No, no. I um. She says I just um gave her a um a uh, uh, an attachment that um, allows her to restrict the um the power of her beal ability, so it'll um like re- like block things out a bit better for her. Do you think that uh, she's okay to a- answer a few questions? No, oh, she's she's in she seems in very good sorts today. Okay. Uh, what's she called again? Seria. Seria. S E R I A. Seria. Okay. I guess. Go and talk to Seria then. Morning. Says... <laughs> Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. <laughs> Not the song again. <laughs> she says, Oh, yes. Um, thank you very much. Um, you guys have been all, all, really awesome. You've really, I heard you helped out our family as well as um, getting the, uh, the ingredients needed to, to, to make this new um, faceplate. Yeah, that's not being a problem at all um if you want to help any further though i mean you could if you're okay you feeling better we can can we ask you a couple of questions absolutely, um, absolutely. anything i can do to help you guys you really appreciate what you've done for us great um <laughs> i'm resisting the urge to ask for money but <laughs> um when did all the when did your headache well when did your weirdness start <laughs> Why did you start Virgil, being a freak? Take over. What? <laughs> she says, um, she says, I, I don't know, like I've been this, I've been feeling something for a while, like almost, like as I think first felt something like a year ago, but it's, um, but like not to this level, like I there was like this, I could, I've always been able to hear, um, voices in my head. Um, you know, when I was younger, I was worried there were just I was there was something wrong with me, but I realized over time that it was you know people around me. Um, but usually nothing. I mean, but when I first started hearing um, this um, this sort of distant voice, and over time it's got louder and louder. Especially over the past few months, it's gotten it's um, it's went from just being like something really um, uh, something you know uh, you know indistinct to the back of my head to something really strong. Um, this um, I could just felt this feeling from the from some the, the northwest. This um, feeling down something down in the earth um, reaching out to me, screaming. What was it saying? I can, I can never really hear the words. I just know that it's 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 a man's voice and he's scared. I don't I don't really like him. Um, he doesn't seem like a nice guy, but he um he made me feel really bad and I, I I don't want you to help him, but I feel like you have to. I think I think you should. I think you have to help him. 
do you think that i mean it might be hard for you to say if you've had this like horrible man in your head but do you think that that's the same thing that's causing all the problems with with all of the creatures as well do you think that they have the same kind of like extra sensory perception that you do um, i'm not sure if the creatures have the same perception i do but i'm sure he does so maybe he's been reaching out to the creatures maybe yeah that um, would make sense actually yeah i don't maybe know what... he was a beal as well i i've been trying to i've been trying to ignore it and um and it's just gotten out of hand and that coupled with the attacks on the village it's all it's all been a bit too much to take all at once have you ever tried to talk back to him um I, he didn't well i tried but he, he didn't he didn't it wasn't like his words never made sense. It was just sort of rage and anger and um, and pain. I, I don't know. I tried. I, can, to, I, I tried to talk to him. That. Sorry. What was that? I can understand that. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot we had the edge lord. <laughs> <laughs> edge lord. Um, <laughs> but he says, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just glad to have him blocked out now because he never seemed to talk back. He just seemed to scream. Okay. Well. And he said northwest, so that's kind of like where um, Ember, Ember, Ember Peaks are. He says that's probably, so, I mean, it's near there for sure, yes. Okay. Um, do you have a way of getting back to your family now you're feeling a bit better? Are you going to go back on the centipede? or? I think this, I think the Scuttermorphs um, has, uh, has probably fl fled by this point, but um, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure, I'm sure um, Patel can get me home. Okay, I think that you should probably stay here a little while longer, make sure you're all better before going back. Also, make sure maybe you've got an escort because there's dangerous shit around. Is that, well, I, I appreciate that. Um, I, I, do, I do thank you for your generosity. I wasn't generous. I said you should get someone else to do it. No, I, I mean for what you've done for us so far. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> this is a very strange one. You're strange. You're the one that listens to crazy men in the, well, uh, in the ground. Just take her away. Just take yeah, her away. I'm just gonna <laughs> hold Jax back and tell her to shut up for a moment. Be like, yeah, Jax. Jax is a weird person. Ignore what she says. So this Please. is this little weird man in Ember Town. Is that like, is that what she said or no? Sorry, what? Yeah, it seems like he's in Ember Peaks. Ember Peaks. Underground, Peaks. screaming. Okay. He's Charming. Investigate. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay. So what do you guys want to like do? A, like Goes a to Yeah, I don't like the idea that all of this crazy- Like, this crazy shit seems to be, like, stopping a lot of people from traveling as well, and if we want people to want to get on with our travels, then we should probably sort it out. Yeah, I mean, this has... is like, solve all the problems of the village, and, like, people visiting this touristy place, and there might be people money at being the attacked on their fucking pilgrimage, so... Can we ask, um... Celia and Pascal to stay there for like four days or something, because by then hopefully we've rectified the situation and they'll be much safer going back. He says, um, I mean, um, Patel says he's like um, he'd be very worried about leaving the village for so long, defenseless. He'd rather take the risk, um, because that because he has a chance of helping them if yeah, they get attacked but again. Yeah, but what's one guy gonna do? And you're not gonna be good to anyone dead, so just like we, we're gonna have this sorted out probably in about three or four days. Might as well just wait. He says, um, he says, I'll give you two you'll days. Give you'll give us two days. You'll stay apart. <laughs> he says, after two days, I have to, I have to, I have to check on my family. Um, family are fine. Okay, fine. You got two days, and if you die, then, oh well, you. He says, I do appreciate. He says, I, I, we do. We are very grateful, but I, but there's only, but I have, I have responsibilities that I can't ignore. But you're not well, grateful enough to not throw your life away. When we're walking away, I want to do this to him and be like, we saved your life. <laughs> Actually, yes, you did. Are you, you guys? Did are you guys hey, leaving? Okay, excuse me. What did First you aid. Do to fight in the village? First aid. You put it in a <laughs> cage. First aid. <laughs> right. So are you guys heading out? Yeah. Yeah. As you leave, um, Darwin says, um, says, um, I have something for you. It's not much. I we I can't really reward you in shins because we don't have much. Um, especially with how we've how trade's been down and how we've been. She find some money. Fucking scrubs. But <laughs> she says, like, she says, I do have a a cipher that might be able to help you, especially in these kind of circumstances. Ooh. Uh -huh. oh. Um. Okay. She, uh. She said she 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 offers you a uh, a headband of mental coupling that will. She says it'll basically allow you to get a sort of temporary um effect like um that of a beal. Um, so if you need, if it's useful to you, it'll allow you to connect to the mind of another. That, that would be really, really useful, but yeah. someone's gonna have to throw something away. Yeah. I've got a really useless. 
Wait, that's fine. Wait. Okay, I'll, I'll... I don't, I don't want to take it because I have like weakness to mind or some crap. I actually have a strength against. Um... I, have weak wo- I have weak will. Um, I'm gonna put this. Um, I'm gonna put the um, cipher in um, chat so one of you can take it, but you'll have to swap it out for one you've got already. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know who. who what, what does that mean, Lauren? You've got like strength against. Mine. Um, I can resist mental effects. <laughs> Maybe you should take it. Yeah, let me have a look. Well, does that mean you also resist the item? Because it's a mental effect. I, I'm guessing it means that if someone tries to do something against my mental Oh, I've got to roll for the level of the item as well. The item is level 6. Ooh, that's harsh. Out. Uh, let me see. I'm sure I've got something shit. No, I've got two quite good ones. Could someone take it and I, I could potentially use it if I needed I've got, to? I've got, I've got, I've got like a really dumb one that secretes weird liquid that you can cure sleep <laughs> which seems really dumb so i'll, I'll take it all right it's um but yeah yeah I've, I've posted it in chat so you can copy and paste it into your um cipher okay. but yeah sadly it's level six so it's quite hard to use that's gonna be useful some well you could always put some effort into trying to make it a bit easier to use but i don't do effort yeah i've noticed whenever that. i put effort in i get <laughs> Right, um, so you guys are going to head to Ember Peaks now then? Yeah, sure. Have you, have you, uh, Laura, have you got the item? Did you take it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Right. Level 1D, so it's a level 6. Did yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I already rolled on it and it's a 6. So. That's bad luck. It could have been level 1 there, depending on the roll. So, <laughs> so that means we have to roll a 6 or higher? Is that... uh, no, it means, um, it's a, it means you'll need um, 18 to uh, unless you use effort. What? So. So most likely you'd have to use effort, which makes it a 15 or higher. Yeah. Sure. That's dumb. Okay. Um, unless you have anything, any abilities that would would uh, mitigate that even more. Uh, it'd be Jack's trying to use it, wouldn't it? Um... No, I don't think any of your abilities would make it um, any any particularly any easier. Oh well. Good luck with that. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay, so while we're walking, I want to get my remote control dragonfly out and play with it. <laughs> okay. So you play with your dragonfly, it flies about like a... You've got a pretty good handle on it, because you've had it for a while now. I just wanted to put that in there. <laughs> okay. Continue. Uh, let's see. So, within... You know, by by early afternoon, you've made your way out from... Uh, Cillian Basin up to um up to Ember Peaks. Ember Peaks is like a a town wrestled in like um uh, uh it looks like a hand reaching out of the mountain because it's like five spires of um of um of rock like upwards and um, the town sort of in, just inside it. Uh, yeah, cozy. Uh, so the, mo- the mo- majority of the buildings in the center of town are made of stone and steel with a dark green cement mixture between the blocks. On the outskirts, the homes are mostly carved out of the mountain edges, often revealing the dark green interior of the landscape. However, Ember Peak seemed to be in some kind of upheaval, nearly pushed to the brink of insanity. The signs of destruction and violence, broken windows, fires, people with bandages everywhere. Crazy. Um, the people, the, everyone in the, everyone who is, there's not many people on the streets, but the few people are um, are avoiding eye contact and look pretty look pretty beaten up or scared. Can I do assess danger roll to see if we're in any immediate danger from anything? Uh, sure, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty trivial roll. Yeah, you just need to get you. You're just gonna need. To, uh, yeah, you you get that. Um, you get the sense that there's no there's nothing here specifically targeting you. Like no nobody, okay. nobody's out to get you here. Out to get us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can we try talking to some of the people? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. You, anyone specific you just want to talk, just want to ask around or what? Mom. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Is anyone experiencing discomfort? So you 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 find one guy hunched over, kind of like just sort of mumbling to himself. You're all right, mate. And he says um he says I don't like this town anymore. I don't like the way everyone in this town is all chanting in the middle of the night. I don't know what they're doing, praying to some dark god or something. I think I'm gonna have to why kill them sooner or later. Why don't why why, why doesn't he just leave? <laughs> he says, "I don't see why I should. I don't see why I should leave. I was here first. Wow. Are these people are new. Sorry. Are these people new? He says, "Well, I've been here a long time. I've seen a lot of things come and go. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not keeping with these people anymore. You should go to the um, basin because it's really good. 
I said, I'm not, I said, oh, I see you're like them. Oh, you want me to leave as well. I'm not going anywhere. This is my town. No, no, yeah, yeah. Just go on a holiday. Come back later. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, he um, says. Can you, you, look can, like you tell us, can you tell us about the people that have been chanting? Like, who are they? Why? What's going on? When did it start? Uh, he, he starts sort of... He starts sort of like um, acting like he doesn't know what you're what you're talking about. Like he's like, what, what, you know? But you just like, smack him. <laughs> I don't think sounds, that's gonna work. Sounds like, like confusion. Um, maybe we should move on to someone else. Would I be able to charm any information out of him? Probably not. He seems <laughs> Let's move Can on I to shake information out of no, him. Let's 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 just just. To the next person. All right, so you go, you wander over, and there's a woman uh, selling, um, selling like fruit and vegetable on a stand. Okay. She's got a big grin on her face. No pears, are they? No pears, no. Is the fruit rotten? The fruit, the fruit, the fruit seems fine. It, it seems unusual that she's selling it though, considering the state of the town. Yeah. She's psycho too. Okay, well, where'd let's, you get that fruit? Says, um, oh, have you, you, everyone wants to know my secrets. I, I, yes, we do actually. Where you get fruit from? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I, I don't give, I don't give away information that easily. What do you want? Can I charm the information out. Does she seem sane or insane? She seems insane. She's smiling. She's grinning away as she says all this to you. Yeah, she's definitely insane. Mm. There's like corruption and broken shit everywhere, and she's like, want to buy a pair? Can I tell if she's lying? Like, if she's, I don't know. You I can... guess I haven't asked her anything yet. So. She's just mental, isn't she? Um, what what do you want to tell us your secret? Because I'm not, t I've told you, I'm not telling my secret. That's why everyone hates me around here, because I'm the only one that knows the truth about the universe. I don't think that's why everyone Wow, well, okay, can we, let's just move on. Next! <laughs> <Those> fucking crackers. <laughs> They're all crackers, aren't they? Um, uh, so, um, a guy runs up to you, like, across the street. He's like, as he runs up to you, he's like, turns around and shouts, like, obscenities at the guy behind him. And Time he's like, on! <laughs> and he runs Seems up. Like my kind of friend. And he runs up to you guys and says, uh, "Lots of folk around here. They got some ki some kind of strange machine in their brain. You can see it when they talk, you know." And he and he runs off. Are all these guys on acid? Because this sounds like <laughs> stuff <laughs> like people <laughs> I know have been on acid have said. <laughs> Are um, they on acid? I guess. Can we keep walking? Yeah, yeah let's just keep we walking. Need to find someone to talk to. Can yeah, we? but they're not making any sense. I don't speak loony. <laughs> um, you find you find a you find a, a, a um a, a young girl just sobbing in the on the in the streets. Aww. I've seen this and left her dead. Let's not go to the <laughs> young sobbing girl. I'm gonna go over to the sobbing girl and I'm gonna ask her what's wrong. Okay, rip. Uh, my flame is not on anymore. I turned it back. <laughs> not gonna burn the little girl. Just so you know, I only put it up because I was like, holy shit, there's a crazy man running at me. And <laughs> so flame off, and now I'm gonna go ask her. What's wrong? She says I can't go. She says I can't go home, and she's just crying. Why? It says because um, mother, mummy, and daddy have gone have gone strange. Here we go. We have a sane person right here. <laughs> mm, I'm still staying back. Okay. Can you? Uh, are you? And how are you? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just I just want I just want everything to be back to normal, the way it used to be. She's where, sane. Where is her mother? Hmm. Where okay. Are her and dad? Sorry. Where are her mum and Oh, sorry. Dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, she says um, the back of the house, and she just points off to one side, and she says, "But I don't. I'm not going in there until they stop stop throwing things at each other." Oh wow. <laughs> okay. It sounds normal to me. Wait, can you tell us when all this started? She, she says, um, "She should speak. You should speak to the magistrates. That's what, that's who's responsible for all this. I'm sure of it." Right, let's go see the magistrate. Come on. Who are the? Wait, why? Uh, I'm gonna cautiously walk walk towards like who who are the magistrates? We just got here. We don't know anything about this town. Um, she she points you towards a building. She says that's the Forum of the Dead. He says um said so Yeren is the leader the leader of the Devoirs. Um, he, I'm sure he I'm sure he must know what's causing all this. When did it start? Um, he said, uh, I think, well, she says, um, uh, she says it's hard to, she says you're not sure, like, um, says her father's been, like, getting increasingly, um, um, ag ag aggravated over the past few weeks. Okay, so it's, a, it's affecting people here. Is it the same thing that's been affecting everyone else, do you think? Has everyone gone a bit weird at the same time? She says she doesn't know. 
What do you mean you don't know? I thought you lived She's here. She's just a kid. Leave her alone. Jesus. <laughs> Can we just go see these magistrate guys? But I've got more questions. On on. They're probably rubbish. Can we just? <laughs> um, <laughs> little girl. Yes. What's your name? Little girl. Excuse, excuse little me, little girl. girl. Excuse me, little What's girl. Hello. Hi. Um, you probably shouldn't sit out in the street because someone's probably gonna stab you. Someone who's <laughs> wow. <laughs> she's like, you... <laughs> so she recoils a bit because she's she's worried about you now. I'm not gonna stab you. I'm just saying there's a guy out there that thinks people That's have machines you. in their mouths. So. <laughs> um. She says I'm. I've got nowhere to go. This isn't good. Mm. She'll be fine where she is. No one's attacked. Do you want to come with us? Tell her to keep safe. No, we don't <laughs> do you take. Want to come with us? Definitely don't want <laughs> to come with us. That no. seems like we're going into the danger. No, but she can help. She can help us understand. Do you? She says she's not going. Talking? She's not going in the forum. Why? Because it's a bad she's place. Brave. Why? She well, says, now who is the child? There must be a reason why you don't want to go in there. <laughs> why? She says I just know it's oh, a bad why? place. But why, why, would, why would you think it was a bad place? Everyone Thanks knows it's a bad place. We're now going to overpower Jax, and we're just going to push Jax away. But I'm just asking questions. <laughs> so obviously, um, like, the, the, bad, the bad juju or whatever is coming from this forum. So let's, yeah. let, let's go to the forum. <laughs> Tell the child to try and get somewhere safe. All right, she's Shit's just, going down. She, she runs off. She like, looks a little, again, disturbed by Jax. <laughs> well, who wouldn't? What the hell? Is this reaction to Jax. That's <laughs> <laughs> what the problems are. Like, shall we all slap Jax again? Come <laughs> <laughs> on! You come near me. I swear to God. Right. Okay. So, hold on. Let's go to the forum then. Uh, I'm just trying to get a description. So, this, the, the forum for the dead is a huge circular stone building in the middle of town. You can't miss it, basically. Well, you first. Who? Is that a building? Do yeah, you? it's a building. Yeah, yeah. Alley. Is there people around it? Uh, there's people. Don't there's, you don't. You, I mean, you don't. You don't know. Any, you don't see anyone around the entranceway. There's people running back and forth around the town, screaming. But sure. Okay. Let's okay. Do... Can, I trip, can I trip one of them up? <laughs> wow. You can if you want. If you want to <laughs> roll to trip someone up. Jacks, like, what? <laughs> I can. You can roll to trip someone up. Yeah. She's gonna trip herself up. <laughs> Please roll. Oh yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, so you 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 see like a, a, an old man running past. You wow. put your leg out, and he oh, trips over and cracks his face on the on the pavement, <gasps> and like blood starts coming out. Oh shit! Can I pick him up? Like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so. Are you okay? Someone first beat, not me. Um, I I kind of get a like I guess like a a bit of my sleeve and just like try and put it oh on my his face. Are you okay, <laughs> old sir? Stay, um, someone leave the, her. The, the guy gets up and thank, thanks you, hugs you and runs off. Sir, are you okay? He, he's running off now. He's, he's, he's laughing as he runs off. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I thought it would be funny. <laughs> can we can we roll on leaving Jax behind? No, you can't. <laughs> I'm coming with you. <laughs> Okay, let's 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 okay. go towards this this building. You nearly killed an old man. <laughs> is he is fucking mental? He's fine. He's better than ever. He's probably gonna go die. He's just crazy and doesn't know yet. Better than ever. <laughs> he seemed in a good mood about it. Don't worry. Yeah, he's fine. Look, <laughs> he thanks me. It's just what he needed. You know, you know, in the olden days where they say, you know, put, so they put talking, leeches on you and, you and they they bleed it out. He's just bleeding it out, bleeding all the bad stuff out. Right. Okay, we're just going. We're just so going. as you get inside the forum for the dead, the place looks like it's been ransacked. There's papers and machinery strewn about the place. Um, there's um, and the um, the furniture seems to have blood splatters on it. Um, one young man's frantically um, looking for something in the office. Um, uh, says he has blonde hair falling over his face as he, he stops his search to greet the characters. Um, he says, Ah, uh, hello. Uh, my name's uh, Charhill. Um, that doesn't sound like a real name. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, you can be called. This is um. This is what um. What can I do for you? What are you looking for? More like what the fuck's going on in your town? You know, you think if the book says he's searching for something, it would tell me what he was searching for. Uh, he says, "Oh, maybe, nothing." Yeah, maybe he's not searching for anything because he's crazy. Well, what did he lose? He says, "Um, he says, um, it's nothing, marble. nothing important. What can I do for? What can I do for you?" You, you, I don't recognise you, um, you ladies and gentlemen. I live here. 
I've lived here my entire life. He says, uh, that's strange. Have you never, you never visited the forum before? No, I, I mean, to be fair, look at it. Why would I want to come here? Oh, it's, well, it's one of, um, one of the most popular attractions in town. Attractions? It's a bit Wait, of a mess, isn't it? I'll, I'll admit, mess. I'll admit, we've seen better days. That's like what happened? Really... Uh, he says, I'm, it's, that's not really above my pay grade. You'd probably have to speak to the magistrate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take whoa, us whoa. to the magistrate. Fuck your pay grade. <sighs> What uh, the hell is happening in your town? I think he meant he doesn't literally doesn't know. I, he says um he says um he says if if you want to make an appointment with the magistrate I can do that if, and um I'm sure I'm sure he'll be able to see you within day within a day or two. Okay, this oh, is what no, we got to shit to do. Let's him now. We want to see him now. Can I try and lie to him? What's that gonna do? I've got an idea. Oh no. You can try and do whatever you like. Um, we're really important envoys from the basin, and um, we've come to discuss some important Thanks. matters with the magistrate, which means that we need to see him urgently. It is a matter of urgency. He will know who we are when he sees us. Uh, okay. I um, mean, you're gonna have to roll against. Um, it would be a level six task, but I mean, you, because you've got skills in light, it's a level five task. Um, if you wanted to, you could um, you could um, put effort into it as well if you want to make it easier. Yeah, I'll put effort into it. So you need to put mental effort, uh, is it intelligence effort? Um, yeah, that's fine. So if you if you do that on your character sheet, and then um, then it's a level yeah. four task. Was that, was that you? Was that it there? That four? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Fucked up. Uh, yeah, he says. Um, he says. Um, he says you don't look like the, you don't look like you're from the, the base. You don't look like from the you're from um, the base, and you you don't have the right kind of um, outfit on. That's so prejudice. <laughs> he says um you'd have to see some official documentation. Can we just see would the it... fucking magistrate? <laughs> <laughs> would I would I be able to maybe try and convince my way past by um, waving the document that we have that we're supposed to take elsewhere? And say that is for the magistrate. Uh, you, you, you uh, no, 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 because you, you, you're, you're unable to think about the document you're taking elsewhere. Huh? What? What? The this is a magical document that we we don't even know about. See, it was mentioned at the start that she's she's delivering something, but you you don't know yeah. why you're delivering it. But you also can't you can't you can't like interact with it. Oh, that's rubbish. Can I just wave a receipt I got and be like, here it is, let me through. You don't even have any money, how would you get a receipt? I peeked it off the floor. <laughs> wow. The scabby yes, bit of paper. Business, right? <laughs> hey. Can we threaten him? You can do whatever you like. So we're okay, gonna... I'll threaten him. I'm going to get my sword out and I'm going to threaten and him. And yet, you wouldn't let me steal a pair. Are we actually trying to see the magistrate or are we trying to figure out what's going on here? Can I just set myself on fire? I'm sure that will make anyone let me through. Uh, do you have any skills? I mean, who's sorry? Who's threatening him? Is it you, um, uh, uh, Virgil? Uh, yeah. Would I be maybe? Um, because I have friends in like influential places. You you would you, with your skills, you would be better off trying to be trying to charm him rather than trying to threaten him. Okay. Yeah, because you're not going to get any. Him, then. Yeah, because you're not going to get any benefit. You're not going to get any bonus to your role from uh, from threats with them. Um, okay, can style. I try and charm him? Yeah, you can. It's um because it's again it's like standard. It's a level six, but you'll take it down to a level five. And again, if you want to uh, put effort in, you can make it a level. Okay, five. what effort would I use? It would be intelligence. Okay, that's fine. I'll plot plot on. And so yeah, it takes it down to a level four task, so you need to roll a twelve. Okay. Um, uh, you also need to tell me what you're saying to him as well. Um. Guys, any suggestions? No, this is your Look, role this play. This is like a really, oh. really important life or death matter. We really <sighs> need to speak to the magistrate. Like... Use some of your military background as well. I'm uh, an ex-soldier, blah, 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 blah. That, yeah. won't, that won't give her any bonus roll, but she, you do have to roleplay what you're saying to him. It's not just a matter of roll and you do it. Yeah, um, well, I'll probably say that... Um, I, 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 yeah, I could probably, like, maybe say that I am still in the military and... Uh, That's the... lying, though. Oh. You're I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll, let me, let me let, yeah, let, yeah, so you don't need to promise him anything. It's just a charming skill, so it's just a matter of being pleasant to someone. I know that's difficult for you, Ria. Uh, it is very difficult. <laughs> this is involving all my effort and roleplay to be charming towards someone. You're the one who 
Drew I'll, just, I'll, I'll apologize for my teammates trying to lie, but we're just here. We're travelers, and we want to help solve the problems in that that's happening around this area. So it's we would just really like important. to speak to the person in charge, okay? Because we want to solve all these problems. Okay, but well, now you just that's that's fine. Now you need to roll twelve or above. Shit! <laughs> I take it all back. <laughs> Fuck sure. you down. <laughs> All right, we're just we're just gonna flame on here, and I'm just gonna threaten him. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flame on. That's cost you one in, doesn't it? Yep. I'm gonna look him straight in the eye, and I'm gonna say, if you don't want me to burn you, let me through. <laughs> um. Okay, that's still gonna be a that's still gonna be a um a roll against twelve though. Wow! Oh my god, you totally set him on fire. <laughs> Yeah, you, um, you, the guy, I mean, not intentionally, but you basically, you try to wave at the guy, and you, you clip him, and, um, you do two, two points of damage to him. Surely he's no, intimidated. No, he's not injured him, we can just walk says, through, right? He says, oh my god, what is wrong with you guys? Get out of the way! <laughs> no, he's not, fire! he's not stopping us from going through, we just wanted him to introduce us. Oh, well, let's just go through. Can we, like, pat him down? Can I, can I pat him down? I don't want him to be on fire There's anymore. Water on him. Well, he he he, <laughs> d he drops to the floor and and not and gets rid of the fire himself. Oh god, are, are you okay? He says, "Oh my god, what is wrong with you guys?" I'm sorry. We, we I, I don't even know why she's here. Like she keeps <laughs> says you. following us around. Um, can we please speak to the magistrate? Like he says, "Fine, fine, I'll take you through. Just just leave me alone." <laughs> yeah, turn the fire off, please. Flame <laughs> off. It did. It did the job. Fuck hell. Right. I, I pat him on the shoulder and go, sorry about that. Wow, he probably fell into the sound. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care, the flame is off. It's fine. Hold on a second, I'm just checking this. Um... I got us through. Oh, I'm about to be looking for someone that's like under the earth. Like... Oh, sorry, Actually, I'm just reading this. Give me two seconds, sorry. No, no, I'm just generally asking, like... The... I, I think yeah, they just... said it... The girl said it sounded like it was coming from under the earth. Mm. That means they're buried. Mm. Buried alive. Zombies. Kind of gross. So, the guy, um... The guy, uh... Chahil, um... Wearily leads you guys through the back. Because, yeah, his name's really funny and <laughs> ironic now, because Char, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he takes, he, takes you, he, unlock, he, unlocks a, he unlocks a door, um, takes you through and leads you down um, a set of stairs. The stairs are circular and well-worn. The air beneath the floor is colder than you might expect. An odour of something sharp and rot rotting, perhaps fruit or burnt meat or dead creature beneath the floorboards assaults your nose. At the bottom of the stairs, a series of wall torches leads the way down a tunnel. At the end, Charhill puts his hand against a mirrored square and says something inaudible, his lips actually brushing the surface of the square, and a door opens to reveal a large, unadorned room. This is no, this is no uh, basement or subroom, but a mortuary, a pre-tomb. Bodies are wrapped in strips of um, cavern dyed shrouds. The purple fabric dark as as bruises uh, rest prone on rest prone on benches. Um, the only unwrapped parts are the heads, faces staring blankly upwards, eyes wide, mouth slack. The heads of all the dead are shaven and scorched into each of their foreheads is a black mark about the size of a man's fist. At the far end of the room, well lit by flames and glow globes, a tube comes from the wall um, and a large sparkling plunger resting in a clear vat of bubbling water. Mm. At the room centre, a man leans over one of the corpses, his ear to the dead man's mouth, and it looks a bit like he's listening for breath, except for the fact that the dead man's mouth is moving, not just moving, speaking. Um, aren't magistrates usually supposed to work in offices, not in morgues? Uh, Charhill says... Um, Says, uh, um, Magistrate y Yeren, uh, these, um, these, uh, f fine people, he says the fine with like a <laughs> dripping with sarcasm, fine. wanted to see you, wanted to see you, and then he sort of mumbles, you deal with them, and then runs off. Uh, hello, Magistrate, um, <laughs> nice to meet you, um, we've come to help we out with in peace. problems. He says, I, think he, I think he is the problem. So he says, are you... Yes, he is. I assume. He says, so are you here to hinder me or help me? We're here to help you. 
probably no, should. no, no. I actually want to find out what's going on here before I agree to help anyone. Yeah. No, no, we're here to help solve the problem. We're here to help. He says, he says, and he, nod, he, and he nods and smiling and says, um, uh, and says, great. Um, w um, please, um, please, can you pass me? Um, can you pass me the um, um, the, the um, the, my tools from over there? I ain't touching nothing. I guess I'll pass him his tools. Ah, oh, what's wrong with you? What, and, what are the tools? Uh, it's like a bag of like tools, like shaving implements and things like that. Yeah, pick up How about he stops doing what he's doing and talks to us? Like, what does he look like? Like just straight. Um, he's a tall, soft-spoken man. Um, his clothing is carefully tended, and his um, emblems of his permission, uh, position are a rectangular silver pin at his throat and a circular bit of metal that he always holds in his right hand. It's all clean and shiny. Um, so asking what while, he's doing while, down here. While, yeah. while I'm handing him his tools, can I run it, like, I guess, a danger sense? Again, like... Oh yeah, sure. Can, can I scan his level? Uh, you can. Yeah, you can both both do those things. Yeah, we'll do we'll do both. I took one. Um, sorry, I forgot to tell you. I um, did one effort on it. Okay. Well, you sense that um, something's not right with him, um, but he you don't sense aggression from him. Okay. Pass him his stuff then. Oh, actually, you, you didn't need to roll for scan, do you, Emmy? Hmm? You don't really. Yeah. You don't need to roll for scan anyway, do you? Oh yeah, I just take a. Um, and, inside and, point, yeah, and he's level four. Okay. Quite uh, high, actually. He says that uh, he's he basically starts mumbling. He says, "I don't know how it how it got to this. I don't know how it got to this. Um, so we still got time though. We can still we can still make this work." What are you make trying to make work? work? He says the resurrection machine. It can. I'm sure. I'm sure. If we just ask, if we can just think of the right question, if we can just think of the right question. We can. We can. We can undo all this nonsense and get back to what we once were. Okay. What we once before. He says, people. Have you, have you not heard of the the great embered peaks? No. Mm. Why don't you refresh our memory? He says. He says, fine, fine. But you and he points to ear. He says, um, can you sweep that floor for me, please? Fine. Where's the brush? <laughs> he hands. He, ha he points to the brush on the wall. Fuck it. This better be for fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm. I'm brushing the floor. He says. Um. He says. <laughs> <laughs> he says. This I'm is. Brushing it over his shoes. He says that the the the, the devoirs. We're all. We're all so committed to this cause that the um the uh. The great, um, the great resurrection machine brought has brought so so many people to the town who want to who want to hear, um, you know, from their from their lost loved ones. Um, we just thought we could make it better. By what resurrecting them? I, well, yes, exactly. You see, the um, the, the way the, all we all we can get to now is um, one question from from the recently departed, and um, and the um, and the and the um, response is always a lie. It's um, it's it's infuriating. You can imagine the um, the uh, the drama this caused in the early days until we took control of it and um, and tried to and and um, organized it. Can you elaborate? Sure. So, uh, uh, he says. Um, he says, "You don't you see that like whatever you know what whatever power at work here, it can bring people back from the dead and right and um, one question isn't isn't enough. That's not enough for anybody. We want we we just figured we if we could get the right answer, we could um we could um, um make it actually bring people back properly. Imagine what that would be worth." Who are you trying to ask this question to? Dead people. Yeah, it's like a temporary resurrection. Like, yeah, like, so you like can resurrection. Ask one question. Yeah, he says, it resurrects them so you can ask them one question, then they tell you a lie and then die again. I'm gonna assume that's like. He says these people, um, the people here, these were my brothers. They were, um, but um, but um, I, I asked the wrong question yet again. I've killed as many as I dare, and I've learned nothing. But I would. Here we go. He's psycho. Um, um, what questions are you asking them? He just said he killed. Yeah, no, that's fine. I get it. I'm just, I, I just want to know what, what the right question to ask to find out how to make, um, how to make the the resurrection permanent. He's mental. Okay. No, he's messing with nature. Let's kill he, him. Okay, so <laughs> my oh. question to you is, you're asking them how to make the resurrections permanent. Well, are you, you see, that's the thing. It's, um, it's tricky since they always, since the the answer is always a lie. You need to, you need to think one step ahead. But it always seems to be one step ahead of me. Um, where do you think they're answering from? Because do they know because they're dead, or is someone else telling them through, like telling you through them, or? 
Well, surely, surely anyone who's who's already um, passed into the great beyond knows answers and secrets beyond what we could imagine. Uh, I, guess, I can't argue with that. I guess. Um, it says, but it, but it's but it's all been for nothing so far. I um I've I, I'm I, I'm pretty much the last of uh last of the the um, the devoirs and um and I'm not sure I'm not sure where I'm gonna go from here. But I would rather have the machine not not at all than let it destroy the town I love. Um, you, you're gonna have to help me. I, I can't um I can't I can't stop this myself, but you can. Okay, what's the machine? Um, you see, from one of his tables, he um, takes out a long-handed tool with a spiked pinwheel on the end. He says, cut him loose or kill him, for I cannot. And he says, please come with me. Um, no. I'm going to go I, with him. I, I want to know a bit more before we do this. Like, wh who's he well, talking the guy's, about? The guy's already dead. Is that right? What? No, he's, he's taking us somewhere to, to cut someone loose or kill them. So I want it's probably the guy that we've heard maybe that's been talking to um Saria. Yeah. But like I want to know a bit more before we go in. Like I, I, like for example who are you talking about? Like we're not going anywhere until you start making some sense. Well surely we let him take us and then we can ask. Well, it depends what are you fighting. He, he says sure we Well he says like I you know I've I've spent all this. I've spent all this time and so much spent, spilt so much blood, and I still don't know any more answers than than perhaps you do. Uh, but I think you've got the answers to a couple of questions we want to know about, like who it is you're talking about. He says, "I, I, I don't know his name. I can only show. I can only show you the beast." What does he look like? Says, you must. You'd have to see it with your own eyes. Um, you're being annoying. Is, is he a beetle? He says, um. He says perhaps it's, it that would make them that would um, that would certainly explain his um, um, ability. But it's, if so, it's um, power of appeal beyond anything um, you, that I've seen alive in this day and age. Sure. So it's obviously. Like, so very he, what is he? Someone who's been here for a while? Or is he someone you've brought here? Uh, he was always here beneath the town. That's what made this. I mean, that's what brought me to the town in the first place. Okay. So this town, but this town hasn't always been like this. Uh, not not until not until um not until we found the resurrection machine and and learned how to make it work and how to and it's and you know for a long time it's been a a great source of um of uh, as I say tourism people bring the the recently departed relatives to get one final message from them. I'm um, guessing this might have upset the guy though. Yeah, it seems like. So the, you think the resurrection machine is woken up this dude? This dude is the resurrection machine. I'm just telling you that after. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should stop doing what you're doing. Do you ever think about, like, not talking to him? <laughs> Says it's, um... Do you ever think about the fact that you're fucking crazy? <laughs> Says, I thought you were here to... I thought you... Says, I'm I thought crazy. you were here to help me, not hinder me. No, we're here to help, we're here to help. We're here to help, we're not just, necessarily but... you. Can I slap him for being so stupid? Uh, um, no, 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 let, let, let him take us, let's, let's take us to see the, the, the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. show, 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 show us, show us, now. show us. To us. Flame um, slap him later. Yeah, Mr. Resurrection Machine. Yeah, let's go see Mr. Resurrection. Well, at least we now know what we're going into. How so, big is he? Is he quite tall? This is after, you have to see with your own eyes. It doesn't matter, it's not like you're going to go on a date with him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, if we're fighting, I'm still getting jealous. <laughs> we're gonna end up fighting anyone. We're gonna fight him. We're not gonna fight the the, the no, psychic I'm guy. Yeah. Fight the psychic. There's guy. no reason for us to hurt this poor crazy man. Let's just... yeah. no. He's probably upset that people have been abusing his power. Yeah, maybe. So let's just go have a we chat. If he's actually that, sane yeah. enough, and we'll have a deeks. And if there's nothing to worry about, we can. Just leave. Well, it sounds like this guy's like basically keeping him captive mm -hmm. and like using it. Let's just go break him out. No, actually, maybe not because he might kill everyone. Let's let's go see. All right. So Yeren Yeren unlocks a large door, a tubular passage that is filled with light. It slants downwards, and at the end of passage, at the end of the passage is a great triangular room. Most of the room is taken up with a large gelatinous mass. It's like a thousand translucent black bubbles with gl glowing red interiors, and this whole mass is attached to the wall with cords and conductors. Bits of mechanical things and machinery are strewn about and piled up, giving the room the impression of a tech junkyard. You hear a voice in your heads, a few nonsense words accompanied by a sense of panic, a clear plea for help, a shriek, mumbled pleading. Mm. Is the, the, the big black thing, is that the resurrection machine? 
uh, he, he 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 nods at you and like hands and like holds out the um the thing the device he gave you. What can I inspect it? Like, what does it look like? What? You, you described it before, but I've forgotten. It's like what, a pinwheel. Is there like a guy? And can we see a guy like in it anywhere? Or is it just like it's just the mass? It's just the mass. It's just a mass. Does is it there seem any way like that the, the mass device is... has a way to like? Is it specifically tailored to do something to the mass or? Uh, he said cut him free, didn't he? Yeah. Which means he's inside the mass, so we need to cut the mass free. Or do we? Well, that's what I mean. Hold um, on a second. Let me, let me, let me, let me, to try and let me, use let me the explain. Um, headband thing. So along, uh, along, along, the, along the black, uh, the back of the mass, near where it joins the wall, runs a seam that seems to fit the tool the magistrate gave you. And do you sure. put this in there? And he, he sort of solemnly nods. Have you done this before? He says I can't. He says I can't. I can't free him. You can't Why? reach it. He says. Um. He says. I, I, he says. I, I. I. It's just. I can't free him or kill him. It's. I just. Um. I don't have it in me. He's. Um. It's been too important to us. I don't understand. And he, he says. He, he just shrugs. You know. Um. Do you, should we use that band thing first before we try and do anything weird? Like. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Who wants to use it? You use it, but you need to roll an eighteen. That's the only thing. Uh, it was who? Who was who? Who was going to use the band? Lauren, because Lauren has like some special. I have power. resisting mental effects. So that you can get that will probably get make it one easier. So it's like level six right now. So that will take it down to a level five, which still means you need a fifteen. And I guess and I'll put some effort into it. And if you put effort, that will take it down to level four if you've got the um, intelligence effort to spend. Yes. I've got loads of intelligence. Thank All right. So that, that really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you'll still need a 12 to, um, to succeed. Come on, you can do it. 12. You can do it. Oh my god. Oh no, wait. No! Wait. I'm sad. Uh, so you try to use you try to use the band, but you're um you're um you can't you can't quite figure it out. Can we all take turns trying to use the band? Uh, if you to re so you you can use the band again, but you'd have to spend an extra effort. Just you'd have to spend effort just to no sorry you'd have to you'd have to spend at least one int point just to even try to reuse it. Okay, well it's it's our best option, isn't it? Um, sure. But but bear in mind, nobody. Lauren got one extra bonus than anyone else, so it'd have to be Lauren who was using, uh, who, was, who re retried. But um, or well, you know, someone else could retry, but they wouldn't have as many. Um, they wouldn't have the extra level off that Lauren got. Is it worth Lauren trying it again? I've got enough int points. Try it again. You can't put effort into it this time. So I can, can, yeah. Yeah, she can put effort. Oh, can in. you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, sure. But only if it only costs two, I think, to put. Yeah, because I've got a, I've got an edge and in intellect, so. Um, and plus, you you have to take off the extra one for the retry. Yeah, well. minus one, and then okay. <sighs> um, okay. Trying really hard. Hold on a minute. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm trying really hard. To think. Right. So in so in a moment, like in a in a in a sort of overwhelming moment your brain is connected to that of the um the, the creature in front of you hey what's up um like so i have to explain this um that this only is going to last only a moment for 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 everyone else but it's going to be longer for you and um and the creature so what i mean okay. here is that nobody else can communicate with it just you because it's all going to happen pretty much instantly yeah 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 and it says um it says fr it says to you free me please free me why, why? What's gonna happen if we free you? Why do you want to be freed? Where have you come from? What are you doing? <laughs> he you says, know, you to go where to go? <laughs> he says, um, hold on a sec. He says, um, my name is Borgal, but beyond that, I don't remember anything. I just know that I've been here a long time, longer than I can remember, just trapped down here. And why, why are you being trapped down here? I, I, I remember, I only vaguely remember the fear and the hatred of, uh, of, 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 um, of my kind, of my abilities. Um, I, volunte I volunteered, but, um, but I didn't know what, I didn't know how long I would, how long it would last. Eternity didn't seem so long. Volunteered for what? For them to, for them to lock me down here. Why would they lock you down here? And who are they? I, I can only repeat what I just said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, are you a Beal? I says I, I'm not familiar. I'm not the the, I'm, the, ter the term is not one of mine, but um, but I've heard it in the minds of many around me. 
Okay, and if if I free you, can you promise not to hurt anyone? Can you promise to like let go of your anger and stuff? Because we're not here to hurt you. We're here to help you. It says um the um the uh, magistrate Yern and Yern. He doesn't deserve this mercy. Why? What's he done? He's tortured me and kept me down here. Used me for his toy. He tortured you. How did he torture you? Do you think I want these um like cables and and machineries like attached to my body? No, but I mean, I don't think he knew what he was doing. He seems a bit crazy. Um, if we can promise to bring him to justice, will you promise not to hurt him? How can you promise that? Are you are you are you lawman? Mm, no, but I'm sure that once things are back to normal, we can make we you know we can take him to justice. I want him. I want to see him suffer as he's made me suffer. Well, you can't. That's bad. <laughs> He says he doesn't care. Oh, I'm not going to let you out then if you're not going to promise me. He says you must let me out. You can't leave me. I've been here for eternity. Well, I can... Well, you can stay here for another eternity because you can't be mean. <laughs> <laughs> what is your character? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm stealing these pets. I'm not... I've, 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 I've never heard the ploy to the boss, you can't be mean. <laughs> Um, we're just trying to be reasonable. We've come all this way to help you. You know, we're trying to we're trying to be good guys. You know, do you think you could turn over a new leaf? Um. Uh, okay. Like, if you, you're gonna have to roll to try and convince him here, it's a level five task. Okay. Can I put effort in? You can if you've got it. I mean, it's just, this is a, this is another int one. Yeah. So it's a level four task. That's another tw How much level. Effort do you have? I don't have much left. So it's a level. So it's roll a roll of twelve or above. Wow. If you fail now. <laughs> if you can type it properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it. Uh, he please. Says, he like... says he says fine, if you will um if you will release me I will allow I will allow Yen and to, to live, but you must um you must guarantee me that he sees he sees justice for what he has done to me. We'll do we'll do our hundred percent best, I will guarantee that. Okay. 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 Um. So we're gonna let you out. I've got three friends with me. We're gonna be cool. Are we gonna be good? <laughs> we says, chill, man. <laughs> he says. Um. He says. Uh, he says. Um. If you look, if you reach into, reach under the base of 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 the mass, you'll uh -huh. find you'll find a switch. Um. He says. Um. He says. Flip, flip, flip that, and um. And this will all be over. Okay. Cool. I'll, Can you I'll, take Ruby's lion? Oh yeah. I've got. I've got lying sensors. Uh, you'd have to you have to roll on it, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, I don't. I, I was gonna say this guy is. I don't. Um, because I've only got four int left. Well, you could just roll on. You could just roll on the the standard without putting yeah. anything into it, which is be a level four task in this case. So you need to roll a twelve. Uh, you can't tell. You can't tell if he's lying or not. Okay. Well, I just tell you that we're not very good at fighting, so we really don't want to have to fight <laughs> you. Can I scan while this is going on? Can I scan the mass? Uh yeah, you can scan the mass. Oh, you've got to spend. You have to spend a point, don't you? Yeah, I've taken one intellect out. Uh, hold on a sec. He's level five, but you sense that he's very that he's um got quite a lot of um health. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. But do you have a name? Do you know what your name is? Yeah, I told you already. Borgal. Borgal. Okay, cool. Borgal. Well, my name's Jax. I'm, I'm gonna let you out. I, uh, I, I... We're gonna be the best friends. <laughs> oh god, he's not. He's gonna wreck everything. He's not. We've had a nice chat. I feel like I've been okay. good to him. And I think that's the probably the end of your mental thing. So that's all happened yeah. in him. To everyone else, that's just been a moment's time, basically. Mm -hmm. well, so do I, what does it come off, or do I take it off? Yeah, you just take it off. Okay, guys. You're not gonna believe what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, his name's Borgal, and he really, really, really wants to kill that guy. Like really, like he's <laughs> literally gonna kill that guy, um, and I guess I point to the priest. So if um, yeah. you point to Veil, I'd be a bit. <laughs> yeah, and looks um looks looks panicked. Can, no, no, no. But I've talked him down. I've talked him down. But you've been pretty awful to him, haven't you? He says I've I've done what I must for my town and my people. Yeah, well, it That's was bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna have to ask Virgil. Can you like restrain him? Because we're gonna okay. have to take him to justice. But what happens if a fight breaks out? It won't because we're gonna um we're gonna make sure it's gonna be okay. 
Like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll restrain this guy. Have you got rope or something so we can, like, tie him up so he's not going anywhere? I think we've got rope in our packs. In our yeah, packs. we do, we do. Right, we'll tie this guy up first. Yeah, we'll just tie him up. Oh, you'll have to roll. telling us tie him up? You'll have to roll no. to tie them, this guy up. It's probably, okay. um, probably not super t uh, super difficult. Um, um, probably you need to roll a nine for, to, to tie this up unless you want to use effort on it. Okay, well, I've rolled 11. Oh, fair enough, yeah. Okay, so you, you, um, you restrain Yernan and tie him up. Okay, well, Yernan, don't worry, because it's going to be fine. But... <laughs> I'm gonna do the thing. You told me how to do the thing, so let's do the thing. All right. So you're gonna reach in and flip the switch. Flip the switch. All right. So you reach under the a mass. The um the mass is slightly softer the touch and very warm, but it doesn't really move or respond. It just like your just hand just. Does slips. it feel nice? Uh, it's just it's just slight like, soft and warm, so it's not too bad. Hmm. So your hand inside Borgle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Me and Borgle have become very familiar. <laughs> You find the the switch that he, he mentions and you flip it, and as you do, um, one by one the bubbles start to pop and burst and melt, and like bit by bit he's like mass collapsed down until all that's left is a petrified brain. Oh, Did he, do I catch it? It just drops to the floor in front of you. No, I don't catch it. Can I pick it up? It's the brain. Can I, can I lick it? I don't want. You can do any of these things, but you, you have to may... tell me you want to do that. You may not lick the brain. This is Borgle. Have some respect, Virgil. Um. So what's Borgle doing? Chilling. If you have you have you, have you, you, don't, you just, have you touched the brain or what? Um. No, I'm not going to touch the brain. Okay. Well, then Borgle is just a brain on the floor now. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll pick up Borgle. Um. When you w when you when you when you when you're holding the brain, you you can hear his voice in your head. He says, "Thank you very much." That's no problem. Um. What wh what do you want me to do with you? <laughs> And he says, I, 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 I don't know. It's just, um, I'm just so relieved. It's like he says, it's been so long since the Aww. I've been able to exist without the pain. Oh, oh well, I'm really glad that you're not in pain anymore, um, <laughs> Mr. Brain. Do you have any, like, do you have a home? Uh, not, not really. I just, I don't particularly want to stay in this town, though. No, that's fine. We'll take you out of the town. Well, what um, are we supposed to do? Take him to a river and set him free? <laughs> what do you do with a brain? Look, we'll do, we'll do whatever Borgle wants. Okay. Do we take him to a brain lady? Um, says you say you. Yeah, you, you, didn't, didn't the last one stick to a? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah, taking yeah, him to the brain lady. No, let's not yeah, take him to the. Take it to he the says, brain. if you wish, I will come with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's just take Put him in the cage. Um, do you want to go to sleep for a while, I guess? He says that would be very it. nice. Okay, I'm gonna. I've got this cage, which will put you to sleep, so um, we'll take you out like when we get somewhere camping. Okay. Okay. Yeah? Right, well, that would be nice lovely. <laughs> okay, I'll put him in the cage. Alright, you put him into cage, and Borgle is, um, is um, silenced, and you can no longer hear any noises or voices. Okay. okay let's deal with this guy. So you. Or fucking asshole. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, so there are some rewards from this. This, these are items in the room that you can probably take. But for the most part, you have guys have um, resolved the adventure for today. Um, it's up. It's up. To, I mean, we can discuss afterwards if you want to. What how, how what happens to your characters and we like what you bring Yern into justice for um, Borgle. But um, <laughs> we can probably <laughs> deal with that Borgle? without uh, without role playing out the entire courtroom drama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but does he get brought to justice? I need to know this. Um, I think everyone needs to be, well, you know. Well, you, the, cl the closure on that will probably come at the start of next time we play. We'll have a, um, a recap of what happened since last okay. time. Well, okay. I wait eagerly to find out what happens. So, thank you very much, ladies, for joining me today for Adventure Bastards um, in Yay! the world of Numenera. <laughs> Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun doing this. Um, yeah, it was fun. We did the thing. Yeah, yeah. And you, um, you managed to do the final encounter without actually going into combat. Woo! Who would we have fought? Would it have been... You fought Borgle. How, how do we fight a giant brain on the floor? Um, so if you, um, if, if you, um, if he's like, if you release him, um, the bubble still collapse, but then he sucks in items around and forms a body to start fighting in rage. Oh god, I'm glad we didn't do that. <laughs> Good thing we made you try that headset again. <laughs> I have like so little in I've got four int left. I'm probably <laughs> about just about brain dead. Good thing I got any brain. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um so that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna close out the recording now. So hopefully if you guys enjoyed it we'll come back and do another session soon. So Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> bye bye.